Hey there, nice that you're watching. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this. It's a small waterfall diorama with a Saharan vibe to it. I'm gonna show you how I made this in a few steps. I, so the first step was texturing. I needed to texture all the rocks. Precise job, I'm gonna show you a few steps of how I did that. Then of course painting, then adding the water, and the grass, and the foliage. And I hope you're gonna like it. I made this piece out of a much longer piece. And the first few steps I've already secretly prepared. I'm gonna show you what I did. Using bark as rocks. There are so many different trees out there and trees all have a different texture. And I love to use these textures because those textures are somehow, it's so weird how nature does this. They are a miniature texture of, of rock. And you can use a lot of different shapes and especially damaged wood or wood that has been laying around, rotting around for years, wood stumps that you can break apart. Man, those textures are amazing. With old wood, you do need to watch out and think about its treatment before you use it. But with regular bark, just make sure that it's dry. So I'm gonna take you through a few steps. First is the texture. Second is the painting. Third is the epoxy water. And the fourth is all the details like grass and foliage. See you there. I've already added one layer of stones and sand to it, which I'll now remove. I'll put a piece of cloth to catch the excess. As you can see, there are pieces in the texture that are not really filled up nice. Here, 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 here. <clears throat> I did all the filling up of crevices and shit. And now it's time to add the coarse stones, which I have here in my little bag bag. So if you want a rocky, stony look, now it's time to take the smaller stones and add a little bit of the magic sand. Why use sand? Well, because it's a better texture than the, it's like the layer of texture. Thing. And as you can see, I've added some small bonsai trees, which I had laying around. We also made sure that there is a difference in depth right here. So the water, the resin water will flow through. And uh, what I need to pay a little extra attention to are the gaps in the waterfalls because those are the places that resin just loves to go. And I think I'll just make a hole in the foam. That's fine. Go ahead and add that. I'll go for a smaller one. Yeah, this will be fine. <laughs> so I see I left a, a small crevice created here and here. I need to think about what, I'm, what I want to do with that. What do, do I want to keep this as a little cave with a small surprise in there? Or this one, not. I might keep this one. I've been touching up a lot on small areas um, and then over painting them. I'm almost finished. Uh, sawn off the edges. It's not really done neat, but uh, it's getting there. So our next step is dry brushing all the rocks with light gray. You can see it's a very simple procedure. You just mix a bit of, uh, a lot of white with some gray. I had gray cut and did me too. No, he doesn't want to do it. So what I did was I, I washed it, obviously I painted it green and then uh, the insides of the river brown and then washed uh, most of the the rocks area and as you can see that gives it the weathered more natural texture and it's so the grass has dried I dry brushed the river now the next phase would be to dam in the potential epoxy water at these areas. I'm gonna do that with tape. So I've added a few small 
clouds. As you can see, I got these reeds. It's ready for pouring. I, I, I tried to add some roots, but they were, so I have to cut them. Yeah, they do the trick. So here we go, I did a first pour and I found some uh, small recesses where it went into. Now the bottom half is turning out really nice, as you can see here. It's always so satisfactory to do this step. I have a small leak here and I wanted to show you that I'm going to fix. So done with your for the tap nog. Zo, ja. Kan je hem drukken? Ja, ja heel goed, er komt een drol uit. Ja. Nog een keer. Gaat helemaal goed. Ja. Nog een keer. Prima, dat is het ook vind ik leuk. Zo helemaal naar beneden? Ja, ja, dat doe ik zo wel. Dat is nog een beetje moeilijk voor kindjes, denk ik. Ja, bij de tak is dat moeilijk. Mm -hmm. Ja, bij de takjes. Opschakelen. So, really mix the epoxy very, very thoroughly. Always. Always. And also, always have a backup plan ready when shit spills. What the devil loves to annoy you as much as possible. It's sticky, you can't wipe it up with water. This is like syrup. Please, trust me. Make sure you always have an escape plan when this goes wrong. Alright? Great. Finish the water texture. Mix it down with some uh, isopropanol alcohol in this cup, and then I applied it to uh, so I'm using some water to thin this down because when it's in its thick state, it's not really the tranquil mess that we want and then we're gonna blow in it with a little little reed and he uses a little reed to blow through and try to add a little bit of extra texture to it you could also do this with an airbrush but I don't have one So I've been adding the turf to the trees, regular woodland scenic turf. Been adding it to all the branches. I just use regular cheap ass wood glue, put it on the top branches. A little bit, very small amount because the rule is the small. The smaller the better. Now the next step is um, adding some uh, ferns from Noch. Crawlers, choking plants that climb up the trees in the north. Kijk camera, ik heb een beetje wit spul en dat ga ik gewoon hier op alle plankjes doen. Goed hè, zo wordt alles wit. Ik ga het helemaal goed maken met plantenspul. Dan lijkt het net alsof de plantjes op groeien. De rotsen. Daar gaat het maar om hè, lieve mensen thuis. 
realistisch laten lijken. Dat is heel belangrijk. 